Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks, sampler, sampler platter video series of videos I've been doing for a little while now. We're going to go over there and try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, and folks, I'm going to talk about the stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that, at the time I'm doing this, folks, some people are scared of giant spiders. Fair enough. What about giant centipedes? Oh. Or really anything that's giant that's large enough that it could potentially eat or harm you. Yeah, it's it's a whole thing. But anyway, uh, what am I doing here, folks? What's going on? Pier can Thunderbolt poster behind me. Crab you later off to the side. And on top of that, I got some Marvel figures up there. I'm in the back room. I'm going to try something for you. What am I going to try? Well, I just got through trying, boom, the Cookies and Cream Twix. And I hinted at it in that video. Because right now we're doing, boom! We're doing Cookies and Cream Milky Way. Now, I've got to say, folks, I am a fan of the Milky Way. I like Milky Way a lot. It's one of those candies that I would eat as a kid. Me and my grandfather, we'd be walking, um, he'd be walking me home from school. They had this little, like, you know, local grocery store. We'd go in. Man, you know, he'd go over there and get me a Milky Way, and that was just, that was wonderful. It's close to my heart, close to my heart. And so now they got a cookie dough version of it. So we'll have to see how that goes. There have been other Milky Way um, alternatives that they've done recently-ish. Uh, like with the fudge ones and the salted caramel. Uh, I never did reviews for those because that was kind of during my lull period where I wasn't really doing a lot of reviews. Um, but this one isn't during my lull period, so hopefully it'll be delicious. Mmm, candy bar. Okay. Um, well, in comparison to the Twix, <clears throat> wherein I brought up the fact that although I enjoyed it, I felt the problem was that the the cookie dough aspect was already similar enough to what a normal Twix is, because it is ultimately the candy bar with the cookie crunch, after all. This is better, but still not hugely different. Like... With the fudge one, with the salted caramel one, those are instantly different. Like, you, there you can taste the difference very distinctly. With this, I mean, basically what they did, I think, was just replace the nougat with uh, the cookie dough version. Yeah, I mean, it's it's different, but just not in a hugely substantial way. Like, yeah, I, I don't know about these cookie dough versions. They're, they're not bad. I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to say there's nothing to it, but... me it mostly tastes like a milky way just a little bit off um and not in a bad way mind you i mean like i said there is a difference but it's just i don't know for me it's just it's not very substantial i just i'm not really getting i'm not really getting a cookie dough aspect from it like it you know when i think of like cookie dough ice cream or something like that like cookie dough certainly has a very distinct flavor um you know, and it has that richness and stuff. And I, I guess it kind of does that a little bit. Like, it's sort of... The best way I could describe it, it feels like they substituted a little bit of the sweetness of the nougat for a little extra richness. Which is fine. 
but the problem is, is that the the difference between those two things for me is just not substantial and so while it tastes good again it tastes just kind of like a milky way and if i'm entirely honest like i'd probably just prefer a normal milky way so i mean it's one of those things where i'm definitely having to overthink it to a certain extent because it's like you know i, I i'm obviously reviewing it i have to critique it so i have to go over there and you know work it out in my head um but yeah man it's just i don't know i I was hoping for really good things with these, especially with them being, you know, part of two of my favorite candy bar experiences, the Milky Way and the Twix. And, yeah, they're just very meh. Like, I don't dislike them, but I also just don't think that they're anything special. And at the end of the day, if they're going to be, like, a special edition thing, they kind of have to be special. So, sadly, neither one of them did much for me. I will certainly finish and eat them because, like I said, they both tasted good, but then that's both because they just tasted a fair amount like their respective candy bars. So, sorry, Twix and Milky Way. Anyway, folks, that's going to do it for me on this one. Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of the day, spectacular rest of the week, monumental rest of your month, stupendous rest of your bugs. You can go over there and have yourselves a truly Milky Way cosmic rest of your life. Because, folks, I mean, we live in the Milky Way galaxy. So, you know, it's, it's a good time. It's a good time. Uh... Final two things, folks. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But we do can't do it all the time. I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you do, folks. You try not to be an asshole. That's not always the easiest thing in the world, folks. Sometimes you're over there and you're living your life and you're just being disappointed by candy bars left and right. Come on now, folks. That's what do you, what do you even do with that situation? Well, I'll tell you what you do. You go over there, you face life even in a world where candy bars can be disappointing. When you run into stressful situations or otherwise disappointing stuff, go over there, take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholishness in your lives, and hopefully, 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 you can do better for those around you and do better for yourself. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there and you're going to try yourself out in Milky Way. You know, cookie dough Milky Way, as I've done here in this video today. And, you know, maybe like me, it's not going to exactly wow you. But perhaps, just perhaps, my heartwarming story about me and my grandfather going over there and getting Milky Ways when I was a small child. It's gone over there and warmed your heart. And instead of ghosts having to go over there and, you know, convince you to go over there and increase wages and do things like that and be nice to people and shit, maybe you go over there and you're like, you know what, that's enough. I don't need the ghosts. Okay, I can, I can be a good person sans ghosts. By the way, at the time I'm doing this, it's literally Christmas today. <laughs> and you ask yourself, but Brandon, what are you doing on Christmas doing reviews? Simple. I was going to go visit my mom. And uh, the cold killed my, uh, my battery on my car. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to have to work this one out probably tomorrow. But anyway. Um, but yeah, you go over there and then, you know, you're... Well, no, that's the Grinch. But you go over there and you do a whole thing, and then maybe you get a deal like Michael Caine did to do the Muppet Christmas Carol, and you'll put on a fright, fight, frightening performance, win yourself an Oscar, and all that good stuff. Or conversely, you can not do I mean, you should still do that. You should still be nice to people and everything like that. That's just a given, in my opinion. But maybe you go over there and, you know, well, with the holidays and stuff, you know, they got, like, toys for tots and different charities and things like that. And maybe you just go over there and, you know contribute to that if you have the opportunity to so bye